for watching the Multi Entertainment. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and check out the website to get the gear. The link will be in the description. From the land of the gang signs and blue rags Where we post up, never hesitate to blast Where the weak don't last and the strong end up on the map From the Golden State, where them real G's be at From the LA County, homie, where we know to bang Shit, it's nothing growing up, you knew you had a back Put it down for the vital, never will I rank Want the do to all the time, you better watch your back Cause she'll crack up, homie, it don't matter where you at This is real gangster shit, only talking facts It's the truth, ain't no lie, we don't need no caps Just a Glock stolen whip in a blasky mask Shit is nothing busting highlights, we don't need a brag From the list G-File all right, now starting off right here in Carson, you have um, the largest one and the oldest out of the Peru neighborhoods. You have the Westside Peru. Now, Westside Peru is a neighborhood that's located in Compton. Uh, that's where it was originated from. Um, but they had members that had moved to the Carson uh, city roughly around the 80s and uh, started recruitment. Um, so it is the same neighborhood. They are one, you know what I mean? Just different locations, you know, due to recruitment. Uh, but right here in Carson, uh, the only slight difference is that it's um, it's uh, heavily uh, Samoan members, uh, Samoan members, uh, Asian, uh, Hispanics as well, and African-Americans, but mostly Samoan than anything else. You know what I mean? So its members are, are you know, mostly fully uh, Samoan is uh how this neighborhood gets down you know what i mean and uh this neighborhood is actually uh you know a part that it was the first pyro set to represent um pyro outside of compton this was the first set to do that you know what i mean because normally pyro sets are originated out of compton so it's one of the first ones to represent it outside of compton even though compton and carson don't really stay that far from each other you know what i mean um led off to you know a bunch of people being able to uh represent their sets you know outside of compton and the west side peru is one of the one the ones that's most known because this is the label this is the neighborhood in uh which the uh label um Buya tribe uh, comes from um you know Buya tribe is uh they have a few west coast jams out there you know what i mean they, they rap with mac 10 and you know a few west coast legends uh they have a few cds i suggest you guys go check them out man their cds are are banging and um, this is the neighborhood in which they come from. The Buya tribe is, you know, originated out of Carson, West Side, Peru. Um, they deep, homie. You know what I mean? They deep. Uh, they with the business, homie. Um, their neighborhood is from what? Uh, Figueroa Street to 220 Street, all the way to Carson Street. Uh, so what's that? It's considered their neighborhood, uh, which they hold down, you know, with an iron fist. Um you know, and going at it with all the surrounding neighborhoods, you know, because they do have a lot of rivals, you know what I mean? From all the crib sets to, like, shit, mostly all the Hispanic ones, Hispanic neighborhoods as well. Uh, but these guys ain't no chums, ain't no pushover, and continue to hold it down and representing their neighborhood right there. And here's another neighborhood um, located right here in Carson that's uh, well-established, you know, well-rooted into the community and, um, you know, well-known throughout these streets. You have the Scottdale Pyrus. Now, the Scottdale Pyrus is, is written SSDP is how they write theirs. Um, now, this one is they're more African-Americans, you know what I mean, compared to the other ones that are more like some of These are more African-Americans. They're located right there on the Scottdale Housing Projects, located on the east side of Carson is where their neighborhood is at. So... Roughly what you could say, uh, Avalon Boulevard and uh, Watson uh, Central uh, Road uh, to Sepulveda uh, is where the neighborhood is at. So it's a pretty decent sized chunk of territory, you know, that they've been controlling um, for quite some time already. And uh, I know people get it confused because, you know, Scott is written with a C, but they put a K. And obviously because of the beef with the Crips is the reason why it's written like that. It's not that it's like a different street or nothing like that. And hence, they do that just because, you know, C represents Crips. So that's why they put the K for killer. Um, so that's just how they spell it. Um, you know what I mean? Um because, you know, they heavily go at it with a lot of Crips, as you know, from the East Coast Crips to the to the Village Crips to the uh victoria park cribs to the hubbard city cribs uh like i said man they just have a lot of beef uh but they have the numbers to combat it and they hold it down as such and uh still representing for theirs but that's what's up with the scottdale pyrus right there holding it down and uh putting their map their neighborhood on the map still you know what i mean now here we have the scott 
Park Pyru, now the Scott Park Pyru, SPP as is known, um, is another neighborhood that's located right here in Carson uh, that's well established. Um, they're roughly more of a Polynesian, Samoan neighborhood. Uh, they do have African Americans, obviously, and other races, uh, but most of their members tend to be of Samoan or Polynesian, you know what I mean? Descent. Um, now, they originated out of this area since the 80s. They've been right here, established, doing their thing, you know what I mean, on Catskill Avenue between 232nd Street and 236th Street. Uh, you know, obviously, on, in Scott Park is, you know, where they're located at. That's their main domain, their dojo. That's where they be handling business, you know what I mean? Um, their neighborhood also spreads all the way to Dolores Street, to Avalon, uh, between 228th Street and Sepulveda. Um, that's pretty decent chunk size of territory you know what i mean and they've been holding it down with an iron fist for quite some time i would say like about 30 years already um so these guys ain't no slouches ain't no chums you know what i mean they're known as the spades gang uh and not to be confused with scott dale pyru because i know you know scott dale and then this is scott park uh you know sounds similar but they're two different gangs you know as a matter of fact one is located on the west side of carson the other one's located on the east side of carson so the scott park pyru is located on the east side you know, it's where you can find them uh, and still holding it down and continue to do so and putting their setup on the map and representing for theirs. But that's what's up with the Scott Park by Roofs. All right. And another large group that we have right here um, is the WFP. Now, the WFP uh, stands for um, Waterfront Pyru. Or it is or it's also known as the H2O Pyru or the Westside Water Gang. You know what I mean? Like. You know, anything that has to do with water, basically, you know what I mean? Now, their neighborhood is right there, what's considered uh, the west side of the Don uh, uh, Donna Strand Village Housing Projects in Wilmington. That is their dojo, their main domain, uh, right there on uh, uh, Hawaiian uh, Avenue was their headquarters, their main spot where it all went down. You feel me? Um, that's where they got it on in Kraken, you know what I mean? Where all their activities were, you know, were held. And uh, the reason why the name of the neighborhood is called Waterfront is because uh, the result of the Wilmington City being close to the Pacific Coast Ocean uh, is the reason why they uh, decided to give themselves that name. Now, this neighborhood has several clicas, just like Mexican gangs do. So do these guys. Uh, you have, like, for example, like the Third Circle, like the 700 block, like the 400 block, uh, you know, and, and stuff like that. You know, as clicks, uh, you know, because they have to have clicks. Because obviously, uh, they're large in size. Like I said, this is one of the one of the more larger uh, Pyru uh, neighborhoods. When we're talking about uh, this on this side, these guys are with the business, homie. These guys ain't no suckers. You know what I mean? They do get it on and cracking. You do hear about them. Made the news several times as well. Like I said, homie, these these guys, they they be making moves. You know what I mean? Um, they they be keeping it gangster right there for the uh, w, uh, WFP and putting it on the map and still holding it down for theirs. But that's what's up with the waterfront Pyrus right there holding it down for their section. Neighborhood, another neighborhood that we have right here in Carson. Um, you have the Grace Avenue Pyru. Grace Avenue Pyru, the GAP is located on Grace Avenue on um, the uh, the Barson uh, Pyru. You know is how they call it. Uh, on the west side of Carson is where you can find this neighborhood, like I said, on Grace Avenue. Uh, now, this neighborhood started actually in Carson High. It was a, a, a gang, you know, that started in, high, in Carson High, you know, a group of individuals, you know, coming together, their friends, you know what I mean, starting up a clique. Uh, it's pretty much uh, how they started, you know what I mean? Now, the territory is between 213th Street and 223rd Street is where you can find their neighborhood. Um, and they with the business, you know what I mean? Um, these guys ain't no chums now. They're known to rock, you know, like the Angels hat, you know what I mean, uh, for the avenues, you know what I mean, the Red A. That's pretty much how they get down. Um, and they with the business, homie, because they're one of the neighborhoods that gives uh, law enforcement a hard time over here. Uh, as a matter of fact, you know, they made the news. They've been hit with all kinds of motions and actions, and you already know how that goes. You know what I mean? These guys ain't no suckers, you know. Uh, they got a few clicks, like the 213th Street and 223rd Street, 500 block. Uh you know what I mean? That that the Huda be trying to like crack down on them. Um, they also have members that rap. You know what I mean? They have a few rappers uh, that come out of their set as well. You know what I mean? Um, so you know they put it on the map for them right there. You can peep out their music. They have some right here on YouTube. They're pretty good. Um, but yeah, that's what's up with the Grace Avenues right there. The the gap and uh, holding it down for their for their set and putting it theirs on the map. Also right here in Carson, we have one of the uh, Asian neighborhoods right here. Uh, Filipino neighborhood. Well, they have different Asians in there. Um, 
but um, that are bloods. You have the Scott Royal Brotherhood. Now, the Scott Royal Brotherhood is, uh, like I said, an Asian neighborhood uh, that aligns themselves with bloods. Um, you know, get what I mean? Right here in the city of Carson, obviously on Scott. Um, you know, that's right, the Barson uh, neighborhood right here. Uh, you know, the abbreviation being SRB. SRB is how you see them up. And this is, this is in this area, this is one of the more uh, larger uh, Asian neighborhoods on, on this side. You know what I mean? These guys do have numbers. Uh, it's a neighborhood that you you definitely see up. You see the graffiti and you hear about. You know, these guys have are notorious. You know what I mean? Uh, been known for, you know, get it on and clapping. You know what I mean? Uh, like I said, people want to say whatever they want about Asian neighborhoods. But like I said, these guys ain't no suckers. You know what I mean? Uh, you come over here thinking that you could just... You know, walk all over these guys. You don't have another thing coming to you. You know what I mean? These guys definitely handle business. Uh, you know what I mean? Have homies that are busted for dropping motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Like, it gets on and cracking, homie. The Scott Royal Brotherhood are no jokes. Uh, they definitely be holding it down. Uh, they started uh, roughly around the 80s is when this neighborhood was established. And continue to hold it down. You know, hold down the fort and still putting their neighborhood up on the map. And holding it down for, for their side. But that's what's up with the Scott Royal Brotherhood right there.